a Gall Lake High School baseball player with a bright future ahead, just learned he has a rare form of testicular cancer. He also just committed to Western Michigan University's baseball team for next year. 13 on your side's Micah Cho talked with the 18 year old who says he's not going to let this slow him down. Micah. Well, Julia, Julian Harris said he is he was at work about six weeks ago when he felt a pain in his abdomen. He immediately told his dad and when they went to the hospital, he said his world changed in that instant. It's a sport that Julian Harris has been playing since he was just four years old. And that hard work finally paid off. Last year, he committed to Western Michigan University to play baseball after high school. It was probably the best day of my life. He walked out of that office and I, I was so grateful for the opportunity. I felt so comfortable there. They brought me in as one. But just six weeks ago, after it seemed like his future was all set, Julian suddenly had to adjust his plans after getting a scary diagnosis. Testicular cancer, um, it's a rare form called cardiocarcinoma, um, something you kind of have to act on pretty quickly. But they caught it early. Doctors were able to remove the testicle that had the cancer and replace it with an implant. Although the cancer was isolated to just his testicle, Julian now has to make weekly trips to Indianapolis for chemotherapy. Being treated by the same doctor who treated Lance Armstrong during his diagnosis, Dr. Larry Einhorn. And it's just something you never would think about as being a kid and so active and so ongoing day to day um, that it's, it's life changing immediately when you hear that news. While the cancer hasn't derailed his plans for college or even playing in a senior season. You know, this is something that will actually make me stronger, make me um, more resilient, make me more focused. And I think that is a blessing and a curse. He now advocates for men doing frequent cell checks, emphasizing the importance of catching cancer early. I would say to everybody, you know, checking, checking your body parts every six months just to make sure you don't feel any tenderness or soreness or or bumps anywhere that just seem unusual because those can grow quickly and then it can be an issue, a bigger issue than it needed to be. Julian should be wrapping up his final chemotherapy session on January 19th. Friends and family have started a fundraiser for Julian as he travels back and forth from Indianapolis and we'll have those details on our website, Juliet. Micah, thank you.